fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! Let's go, big fellow! I am Silver! Armed horsemen accompanied a wagon loaded with gold bullion along a winding trail. Come on, get up there! There had been no sound other than the clump of hoofs and rattling of the wagon until shots rang out without warning. The horses dropped before the attack. Masked men appeared on a nearby hill as they poured murderous fire on the ambushed guards and drivers. Dead men and horses littered the ground as the attackers rode in. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, boys. Get up there in those wagons. Get that Masked boat. men swarmed over the wagon and quickly transferred the gold to saddlebags. Then as suddenly as they had appeared, they rode away toward the distant mountain peaks. <laughs> An hour after the attack on the gold-bearing wagon, a weary, foam-flecked horse dashed up to the office of Sheriff Coleman in the mining town of Crazy Gulch. A half-dead man, badly wounded, slid from the saddle and staggered to the door. What the... Hush your hands. You can't come in here. Oh, no. Don't oh, shoot. Wait, Sheriff. Give me a chance. It was Black Ben. His gang, they... The ambush just took bullion from the wagon. He left everyone dead. All except me. My, my horse, he ran away, but when he came back, found me on the ground. I managed to mount it. Black Ben again. Oh. Time after time, oh. it's been the same story. Black Ben and his gang. It was the same story as far as the law was concerned. The search for Black Ben and his gang was futile. The outlaws seemed to have vanished in the mountains and left no trace. It was three weeks after the bullion robbery. Peter Weston was on board a westbound train. He had found gold, but illness had sent him east before he could claim his discovery. On his return to the gold hills, he was accompanied by his nephews, Fred and Arthur. We're almost to River Canyon. Crazy Gulch is only 60 miles beyond. We should be there by nightfall. In the morning, we'll get some horses and head for the mountains. But Art and I could find the mine with a map in that little bag hanging inside your shirt. And we could hire a guide to take us part way. I'll be the guide. There ain't nobody I'd trust in this wild region. Well, yes, there is one man. 
just one. Well, who's that, Uncle Peter? It's Bill Evans, the lawyer at Crazy Gulch. He'd help you with horses and a guide. He's honest. Then you will let us go on alone? I won't do nothing of the kind. I just mentioned Evans in case uh, something happened. Only nothing's going to happen. My heart feels perfect. Of course it's perfect. Doctors never know what they're talking about. Especially when they tell you something you don't like. I know how I feel. Like I was saying, that dark smiley, he don't know. Uncle, what's wrong? You look pale all of a sudden. I was telling you about, about Bill Evans. He's... He... Oh. Look, Fred, he's in pain. He's clasping his left side, his heart. Oh, I better get some water. It's at the end of the car. It's like before. Like that time. You feel any better, Uncle? Uh, maybe it don't hurt quite so. Here, Uncle, drink this. I'm weak. Very weak. That whistle, it... It means we're almost to River Canyon. We'll have to take you off the train, Uncle. You need a doctor. Maybe the man sleeping in the seat's back will help us. I saw him curl up there when I went after the water. Whatever you say, Dog Smiley, he was right. You will have to go on without me, as you suggested. You can't lose no time about it. The stranger who had been sleeping on the train helped to remove Peter Weston at River Canyon. Fred and Arthur, with the assistance of men at the station, then carried him across the street to a hotel where Peter was put to bed and a doctor was called. The next morning, the doctor paid another visit. You're a sick man, Mr. Weston, but I think we can pull you through if you behave yourself and keep quiet here for a few weeks. A few weeks? Oh, now listen here, Doc. I got important now, business. you do the listening. I'll do the talking. Your nephews can look after that important business. Oh, all right. Maybe you know best, Doc. Now, about that business, can you leave me alone with my nephews for a minute? One minute. That's all. Then they get out. You need more rest. Now, here's that map. And a little leather sack. We'll take turns wearing it. Don't let nobody see it. But remember, see Bill Evans, the crazy ghost lawyer, about a guy. We'll look him up as soon as we get there. Get there in a hurry. Take the next train. We don't want somebody to get hold of that mine ahead of us. On that same morning, in the mining town of Crazy Gulch, a slender, well-dressed man walked rapidly along the muddy main street. Entering a doorway where a sign read George Brown, lawyer, he climbed a stairway to a second-floor office. Oh, hello, Jerry. I thought you went east. I came back. Trains run both ways, George. <laughs> yes, so it seems. Sit down, sit down. You were lucky to catch me here so early in the morning. I'm early because we have to do a lot of planning in a hurry. Planning? What about? About something I heard on the train yesterday afternoon. I was pretending to be asleep. And exploding with curiosity. Don't be impatient, Mr. Evans. That's the name of the lawyer I bought out. Yes, Evans is the name of the lawyer you bought out. After Black Ben made it unhealthy for him to stay in practice around here. Ben needed a dishonest, tricky lawyer in town. So you're it, George. Well, thanks for the compliment, Jerry. But why call me Evans? Because you're going to be Evans. A couple of tenderfeet will be coming to you for advice. I don't look anything like Evans. The tenderfeet never saw him. One of them will be wearing a map to a mine in a leather sack hanging inside his shirt. They need horses and a guide, so they'll ask you to help. So I welcome them, fill them full of lead, take their map. There'll be no gunplay in this town. There's supposed to be law and order around here. But out in the mountains... Black Ben's the law. Then Ben will invite them out there for a visit, I suppose. Listen, stupid. The tenor people want a guide. You furnish one, he leads them into the mountains. Right into a trap. Then we'll all go into the mining business. In a gully among the wooded foothills near Crazy Gulch, a masked man sat on a boulder near a fitfully blazing campfire. He was in shadow beyond the firelight, and nearby stood a tethered white horse. The man drew a gun when he heard another horse approaching in the darkness. 
Oscar, hold on, hold. Hold on, hold on. Otto, I thought it sounded like your horse. But I couldn't take a chance in this part of the country. Did you have any luck? Uh, plenty of luck. Tell me about it. Well, me watch a fellow named Terry. Like you say, me follow him. I've heard that he always has plenty of money. He never seems to do anything to earn it. That's reason enough to suspect he's up to something. Ah, uh, and it looked like him up to something plenty quick. Oh, how's that? Well, me follow him to office a lawyer in town. Cherry fellow, go inside. Me listen at the door. What did you hear? Well, Cherry say two tenderfoot come here to find gold mine. One fellow got map inside shirt. Tenderfoot need guide. I see. Is that all? Well, me hear plans. Lawyer make believe him friend of tenderfoot. Him get guide, but get wrong kind of guide. Guide take him to trap where Black Ben get him. Otto, this looks like the chance we've waited for. I'm going to call on the sheriff. Three weeks of futile effort to find Black Ben and the others who stole the bullion had left the sheriff nervous and irritable. He approached his office Find muttering in anger. Black ben the he opened the door, do. then slammed it. Take it easy, Sheriff. You, you want a Black Ben's gang. Oh, you're mistaken, Sheriff. I'm on your side. Uh, it looks that way. You come here wearing a mask, threaten me with a shooting iron, I and you tell you me... when you came in just to discourage any move you might make toward your own guns. Who are you? What's your game? I'm interested in capturing Black Ben. Isn't that your game, too? You bet it is. Ever since that last hold-up, the bullion hold-up, I've been lying awake nights trying to figure out Maybe what to do. Maybe we can figure it out together. You'll trust me. Trust you? How do you expect me to trust... Why don't you to listen trust... to me for a few minutes, and perhaps you can decide. Well, go ahead and talk. Sheriff, one of my acquaintances was killed in the bullion hold-up. He was a guard on the wagon. He once did a favor for me, and I haven't forgotten it. So you aim to settle the score for him? I'm in favor of putting all outlaws out of business. But in this case, I have a personal interest. Uh, if I could just find a way to locate Black Ben and his cutthroats. I'm desperate. I'll try anything. If you've got any good ideas, let's have them. When I learned that my friend had been killed, I came here as quickly as possible. I was a long way off, and it took some time to get here. The trail was cold. It was cold the day after the robbery. Me and my men could follow it as far as the mountains, but we lost it there, the same as usual. Well, Sheriff, I had an Indian with me. An Indian named Tonto. He followed the trail to the mountains, cold though it was. Then he managed to follow it further. Yeah? Yes. He followed it right back here to Crazy Gulch. He did? Say, that's something. You sure it's the right trail? Sheriff, you know a man called Cherry? I sure do. Is he mixed up with Black Ben? I think so. What do you know about him? Not very much. He'd be around town for a time, then he'd go away for a few days. Mm -hmm. When he gets back, he's always got a lot of cash to spend. Uh, how about a lawyer named Brown? Know him? Yes. What about him? He and Cherry are working together. Yeah? Yes, I've been watching them. I thunder if I knew what they was Perhaps up to. Perhaps I, I can tell you that. See, two young men are coming here from the east. They'll have a map that shows where a gold mine is located. Yeah? Cherry and Evans are after that map. They are? Why, the ornery... I'll fix them. I'll throw the two of them in the calaboose. You couldn't keep them there without charges. Well, I'll find some... It'd be some... better to wait and capture Black Ben's gang. If I thought there was a chance of that... There I... is a chance. A good chance. We might even locate the hideouts and recover some of the stolen goods. Yeah. You know, I've been thinking. That's your mask and the way you talk. Listen, mister... Have you a horse that's called Silver? Yes, yeah, Sheriff. <laughs> I thought so. You said you had an Indian with you, this name Tonto. That's right. By thunder, I know who you are. That may simplify matters. You can count on me. I'll go whole hog to help in any way you want. Good. Uh, what do you want me to do? Can you get a posse of men who will fight hard? You just better can. And get them lined up and ready for action. I'll watch for the men who are coming from the east. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
continue our story. Fred and Arthur arrived on the train from the east. They were met by Mr. Cherry, who, with the help of the crook who posed as lawyer Evans, provided horses and equipment and a man to serve as guide. Five days later, the mine hunting expedition moved along a narrow canyon high in the mountains. Oh, for a nice soft bed. Sleeping on the ground is no fun, especially after the first night. That's right, Art. I wonder why they call us tender feet. I'm lame all over. Well, just around the next bend's a big cabin where you can sleep tonight. It has bunks and they ain't bad. Lead me to one of them. But before sleeping, I want plenty of food. Well, uh, I'm sorry, but we got just enough grub for one meal. Well, that's fine. After supper night, we won't eat anymore. Well, I just made a mistake. I guess it didn't figure right, but... I know where to get more grub about five miles from here. Well, that won't help us with breakfast. But you can sleep in the cabin tonight while I ride over there and get the grub. I'll be back with it early in the morning. Look, is that the cabin on that slope? Yeah, that's it. There's even a place for the horses back in them woods. Looks good. Can we lock ourselves in? There might be wild animals or something. Well, yeah, there's a lock on the door, but I'm pretty sure there won't be no wild animals to bother you. Midnight darkness blotted out the canyon. The feeble light of a misty moon faintly outlined the cabin against a background of fir trees. Several miles away, the guide rode through a narrow mountain pass. Oh! Who is it? Who? Who, fella? Who are you? What's me, Jenkins, the guide. Get your face into this lantern light. One way. Yeah. You're all right, go on. Ben's waiting for you in the house. Anybody else there? Plenty of them. But hurry on, the chief's impatient. Up there! Hold him, hold Easy, sir. Come in. You're late, Jenkins. How about things? The tender feet got tired and we had to slow down. They're sleeping in the canyon cabin. They don't have guns. Did you see the mine map? Well, no, Chief. I didn't try. I was told not to do nothing suspicious. But one of them must have it. That's right. Hanging from his neck inside his shirt. We'll start for the cabin at daybreak. But it seems kind of queer for so many of us to go after them harmless tender feet. I'm running this show, Jenkins. I'm taking no chances with those tender feet. Besides, after we take care of them, we're going on to Rapid Creek. We, uh, we have some business with a bank over there. I kind of like them two from the east. Maybe we won't have to, uh, you know what I mean. You going soft? Well, we won't be any rougher than necessary, Jenkins. But nothing is going to stop us from getting that map. Streaks of dawn found Fred and Arthur fast asleep in the canyon cabin. Suddenly, their slumbers were rudely disturbed. Art, you awake? Yeah, I'm awake. I thought I heard something. There, there it is again. Oh, the door. Oh, I know it. It's a guide back with our provisions. Oh, good. Come on in. He can't, Fred. We locked the door, remember? Oh, sure enough. I'll let him in. Just a minute. I'm hungry. Good thing he got back. I sure could eat plenty right now. Hey! Up with your hands. Be quick about it. What the Sam? Stay where you are. That's a warning. Now be careful. Mast. See here, what's the big idea? Hoist those hands or I'll shoot again. This time I'll hurt someone. All right. All right, my hands are up. Who are you? What's the idea of coming here like this? Come in, Trigger. Things are under control. Trigger. Good work, boss. Tender feet didn't put up much of a fight, did they? <laughs> fight? What do you two want? <laughs> you could guess if you tried. Where's the map to the gold mine? So that's it. Where is it? You going to hand it over or make us get rough? What makes you think there is a map? I know it. I know more than that. 
It's beneath the shirt of one of you. Which one? Oh, I, I, Come on, speak up. Say, I've heard your voice before. Art, this is someone we know. That's what I thought. That's enough. I... Hold your gun on him, Trigger. I'll see who's wearing a sack around his neck. I got him covered, boy. You first. Come here. I'll see what's beneath your shirt. Hey. Uh, There's nothing under his shirt, boss. Uh, get out of my way. Now it's your turn. All right. You win. I'll give you the sack. Now you're, you're showing sense. No use making me rip a perfectly good shirt. Here's the bag. That's what we want. Keep him covered, Trigger. Yeah. I'll make sure this bag's got something in it. It has. Yeah. Paper of some sort here. Here we are. You got it, boss? Yeah. Now we're all set to make a cleanup. It won't do to leave these two to squeal about it. Will it, boss? Oh, you might as well start shooting, Trigger. You're not going to shoot us. Sorry, Tenderfoot. But you have the map. You've got all you want. There's nothing to gain by shooting us. Get your gun going, Trigger. Right. Don't try it. What? What Another masked man. Stop the guns. Get him. I'll shoot. Take him, Toto. Um, You get him. Get him. Look out. Be calm. Right there. Oh, did you see that blow? No, you don't. Oh, let go of my arm. Drop the gun or I'll break your wrist. Oh, get me. Drop the gun. Oh. There, that's better. Now get back there. I don't understand. Both of them are masked. Both of us are masked at the moment. But one of us won't stay that way. Take the mask off that man, Toto. Uh-huh. You boys see if it's anyone you know. Uh-huh. Art, look. It's Mr. Cherry. It's the man we saw on the train. You know him? Yes. He helped us when we were in trouble. He was on the train. That's how he knew about the map. He must have overheard our uncle talking. Who are you? How did you know about the map? And why did you help us? You better take back your map. I'll get it, Fred. Good. Otto, how about the fellow on the floor? Uh, him still sleep. How about his wound? A uh, bullet only grazed arm. Him not hurt bad. Oh. He seems to be recovering uh, consciousness. Keep an eye on him, Toto. Uh, what are you going to do with this? The law will take care of you. You'll probably hang. I'm expecting lawmen any minute. Or an attempted robbery? That's no. just one of your minor crimes. There'll be charges of murder against you. Nothing of the sort. Black Ben has a lot to account for. Black Ben? Yes. That's what you're called, isn't it? I never heard of Black Ben. No? I don't even know what you're talking about. I came out here just a short time ago. These boys will tell you that. So you're not going to admit that you're Black Ben? Of course not. Then there'll be the problem of proof. Hmm. <laughs> You can't prove a thing. Hey, what? Take it easy, Trigger. Hey, boss, who's the masked man? I don't know. You just take it easy and keep your mouth shut. Understand, Trigger? Yeah, sure. Maybe better me tie this fellow, huh? No, Toto, I... Hey, <laughs> to keep him covered. I'll drop them guns. Good work, boys. I thought you'd show up. A whole gang. A dozen of them. So your gang came to help you, huh? You didn't expect them, did you? <laughs> well, as far as I'm concerned, they can have you. Hey! Get out! He's no man at us! Get out! Out the window! Uh, uh, stop him! They're getting away! Get that critter, the Indian! He went out the back window! Get out! Oh, hold it! Hold it! Let them go! But they'll escape! Let them! The law will be here in a minute. We've got to get away. Bring these two with us. Oh, now, wait. You don't have to take Come them. Come on, you. Now, I'll take this one. If you've got the map, what more do you want? Bring them along. I want to ask them a lot of questions. Well, let's go on. With Art and Fred as prisoners, the gang went over a rocky trail that showed no hoof marks. They traveled for over an hour, heading into the deepest part of the mountains. Finally, they reined up at what seemed to be a permanent camp just outside the mouth of a cave. Oh, 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 oh. This is as far as we go. Now, get off those saddles. So this is your hideout. You heard the boss. Get to the ground. <coughs> All right. Now we'll get down to brass tacks. What are you going to do with us? Well, that depends on you. I want information. I want to know who that mask man is and where he came from. You know as much about that as we do. I also want to know how he learned of my interest in your map. Oh, I don't know. Oh, so you're not going to talk. Well, we may have ways to make you change your mind. Fred told the truth. We don't know any more about that masked man than you do. We never saw him before. We'd better get tough with him, eh, boss? Sorry, boys, but I must have the information. Somebody around here has been talking. 
I'm going to find out who it is. We can't help you. Take charge, Trigger. It'll be a pleasure. Give me a hand, boys. Hold it. Hey. Close in on the boys. It's the sheriff and the masked man. Where'd they come from? Shoot them. Fight for it. They're on a fight. Give it to them. Get that one. He got them. Oh, wait, wait. Don't shoot anymore. I give up. Go down your gun. I quit. I dropped my gun. Don't shoot me. Hard. Where'd they come from? Frisco, boys. Make sure they got no sneak guns. Gosh. They sure came at the right time. Are you still going to deny that you're Black Ben? Let him try to deny it. This is the main hideout. We'll find everything they stole in that cave. I'll bet my badge on it. How about it, Cherry? I... I guess you win. You two boys all right? Oh, yes, but in another minute... We were never far away, Fred. In fact, this young man, we could have closed in on him back at the cabin. You could have? <laughs> sure. We were close by. You see, we wanted to use you as bait so that we could track down this gang to the hideout. As bait? Sorry. That was the only way to locate this place. When we saw the Cherry or Black Ben figure to drill the two of you in the cabin... This masked man and Tonto had to step in. For a time, it looked as though the plan would fail. But Black Ben's gang came to his rescue. Yeah, then we just followed him here. How about that map, Cherry? Trying to hand it over or make a search of... Oh, wait. Here it is. Always one of the sheriff's men will guide you. Uh, sure will. Uh, I guess we owe you an awful lot. You owe it to that masked man, not to me. This trap was his idea. Say... Maybe he'd take a share of our uncle's gold mine. I know we're not needed here. Uh, Wait a minute. Don't go. We want to reward you. Hey, big fella. Come on, Silver. Hit him up. He didn't seem to hear us. <laughs> he heard you, son. But the Lone Ranger won't take rewards. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. 